really on quite a roll here, going yeah. uh, Q through Barcelona, I think trying to make it to gold level, so yep. that would be... Uh, and this is, I believe, very similar, po possibly the same list that she top forward the GP with. She's on yep. red, green, aggro. Red, green, aggro, nothing too fancy in it. Um, most of your standard four ofs, she has uh, three metamorphs, two thrun, three hell riders, and four swords, one piece spam, and three war piece, and then all the gav blasts. It appears that she's taking, a mul this is possibly her second mulligan, because I believe she was already mulliganing before. Oh, this is just the first one? Okay. And so Jackie going to six cards. Jackie also a calmness for Star City Games as well. Absolutely. Yeah, uh, she does art altars, I believe. Who start out yeah. as just doing art altars, then establishing her own as a, as a player. So that's really yep. exciting to see that happen. It is a... Uh, having grand, two, like, basically back-to-back -back Grand Prix finishes in that... That sort of a span of time is not easy to do. Definitely not. All right, that's the mulligan of five. <laughs> All right. Well, um, so in this matchup, okay, yeah, both players here undefeated, both at 5-0. Um, I will, I will go on a limb here and say that this matchup is the pits for zombies. It's just <laughs> like, it's they go over the top of you. Hell Rider is just like better than, sorry, not Hell Rider, but Hell Master is Hunt basically Master better than anything that you could do. Yeah, you so can metamorph it, and that's basically it. She can keep um, a very, yeah, any, if she she can win a multi five Sword, year sword, off on, of sword on a guy is just game. Like, there's just all, so many horrible things that can happen. Yeah, uh, she only has one black green sword. She has a second in the board. Yep. I mean, five card, a mulligan of five is uh, definitely a good way to start off for, for James' side of things, but yeah, this is. This matchup is unpleasant. Yeah. Well, game one seems to be going fine from go going yeah, so far, so good. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Really though, so, I mean, what he can hope to capitalize on if he, what I would do at least when so talking a bit about this, I know this almost seems like kicking someone when they're down. Strategies when your opponent is mulliganing to five. Um. I think the the major thing that you try to do is you're way more inclined to just try to trade one for one, in spots where you otherwise wouldn't. Like you're right. willing to give up some degree of card quality to trade one for one because, uh, you know. Absolutely, just, yeah, a, yeah. a card for them. The more, so the more that you whittle down, like your opponent's already, it basically magnifies the percentage of cards that they're down from you. Because ideally, right. like, if I could start at two cards and have you start at zero cards, I would always do that. So the more that you can sculpt the game to be like that, um, the bigger of an edge you can generate. Yeah, and especially I think slow playing things like removal spells. Uh, remember that they have to play out their whole hand. So it's like if he has a Doom Blade here, you know, he might be inclined to say tragic slip a bird of the paradise on turn yeah. one. I would do that against Red Green Go on seven versus seven. Seven versus five, I probably would not tragic slip a right. turn one bird. Because card quality is more of an issue. Well, you know. How is she going to win on five cards? Maybe my guess would be Hunt Master of the Fells. Right. So I want to tragic slip Hunt Master of the Fells, and then I, you know, you, you'll start looking at plays that way. Uh, Porcelain Legionnaire puts him to eighteen. Yep. So Jackie's hand, uh, she looks. She has a sort of war piece in it. She has, I think, a, a hell. It rider. looks like there's two swords in there. Yeah, she doesn't have any more lands. She yeah, she, she has a stranglehold. Stranglehold guys to hell rider, two swords. Uh, you know, really kept a hand that didn't have much in it because yeah. she's on I mean, five. well, she had a bird. Uh, the bird turns this hand into potentially a very good one. So right, the mortar pod really good for her for James there. No uh, James legionnaire. army, black blue zombies army of <laughs> not zombies. Not entirely. And, and we distress. Have a distress. That's, just stress, a very good card here. Well, it's Reading possibly it, not particularly sure. good against Jackie's hand because her mm. she has like two swords and then some really, really what cast. her hand needs is is mana. Um, I actually like it quite a bit here. Um, but Force Engineer is white, so the only card here that matters is I think is Strangle Root Geist. Yeah, Strangle Root Geist is because she has a backup sword even if he takes a sword. So you're basically just want to, you know. Her it's very hard for yeah. He's got yeah, to take. Guys. Well, all her creatures cost four, so now she yeah, has to go she, runner, runner, land, and even, and even that, then you still have she, your two guys plus a mortar pod. Like it's pretty. Well, that's, easy to that's burn hits out. for that's hits for twelve plus two. Yeah, right. she, she's effectively at two, even if she gets to choose her own. Draws. All right. Well, she she returned a galvanic blast, which next to drawing a land is about the best thing you could hope for. I would agree. Uh, so James will just continue. Yeah. She's gonna need, he has another distress. I wouldn't use it yet though because I don't. He knows her hand, and I'm not really scared of anything in it. Right. Ugh. James agrees, girl. And that's that's going to be yeah. Excellent that's that's going to be that's going to be probably be game because especially with the interaction it has yeah. with Mortar Pod, I can't see. Every single time I drew that, so we have a third land here. Every single time I drew 
messenger at the Invitational, I'm like, this is over. This game yes. is over. <laughs> He's a very strong card. The mana cost, obviously, is yeah, well costed. Check, yeah. well co but, you know, yes, uh, a hit here brings her to six, which with the messenger essentially has yeah, it's him at very two. Close. Yeah, it's basically lethal. Players, we're still taking sign-ups. Actually, has him at one, challenge. just on right. the board. Do we like to battle with the cards of yesteryear? Please come see me inside of it stage. So he needs one more damage in, which both creatures swinging right. turn should provide. She's going to play uh, Elf Attempt to Equip, but right. that'll he be... Also, I believe he has a Geth Verdict also left over in his hand. Well, that's just gravy. I mean, plays Elf when, probably when he moves, if she moves to equip the Elf, he, he can shoot here and she'll be dead. And just, just still had all these. <laughs> And that should be game one. Yep. Jackie just taking some notes on the cards he's playing here. Yep. I don't think I like the guess where play there because of that extra information. I probably would have just mortar potted the yeah. elf. Or just let it equip because you still have lethal. Any of these plays. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's very hard to yeah, lose on that board. Yeah, the information there is... Uh, yeah. But it's hard to fight the instinct of just playing the cards in your hand, you know what I mean? But yeah. They're definitely... Okay. So, sideboard time. We have some... Um, some Phyrexian Obliterators, which I think are going to be good in Phyrexian this matchup. Phyrexian Obliterators are excellent. Um, he has um, two more Metamorphs. He has one main. Two more Metamorphs if he wants them. He has two copies of Go for the Throat, also excellent here. Yep. And um, a, some Green Black Swords, which could also be quite good. They're they're fine. So do, would you still categorize him as the aggressive deck as in this matchup? I mean, or? he has to be. He can't win going long. Sure, like, well, Hummaster has... Hum Master Thrun. Does, does a, well, with Obliterator, can he? Uh, he can go a little bit longer, but the issue with Obliterator is it's he's playing 22 lands, so you're not even guaranteed to run that thing out on turn four, you know? He can't, if you're playing he, 24 lands, sure. and you can realistically just jam your Obliterator when you draw it, well, that's, a, that's, a different, that's a different case, but um, a lot has to go right. And this is, you know, I had 22 lands uh, in my sideboard of the Invitational, right? and I played Bloodline Keeper on my sideboard, same thing as a 4 mana spell. After the one thing I really wanted after the tournament was over was the 23rd land. I think that would have made a big difference because the number of games I just stalled on three, which is very, like, stalled is a misrepresentation because, like, I made my first three land drops, but where right. I didn't make my fourth land drop until too late was just, it happened in a lot of games. And that's very likely to happen when you're on 22 lands, so. Yeah. Uh, I would have added another land. Jackie doesn't have as much out of the board. I actually think this matchup gets, might get, it definitely gets better for James after board. She has uh, two, she's going to obviously replace a, a war piece with a feast and famine. But she also has two Garuk Relentless, which to me seem pretty good in the matchup. She wants to make sure she doesn't overload on four drops here. Yes. Um, but outside, Especially since your birds and elves are likely to die. Yes. So then, yeah. Uh, outside of that, I think you would replace some number of Hell Rider with Garuk Relentless. If you're worried about Obliterator, the one Dismember is probably fine to bring in. Right. Outside of that, she doesn't really have anything in her board. So an Obliterator is, is fairly big game here. Yeah, Obliterator is awesome after board. Yeah. Yeah. Now, to, one of the funny things, stories, just side stories of Obliterator, for those of you who are watching it on, in Sacramento Gorge, we did have an Obliterator get hit with a rack with madness on yeah. the camera. Which, which is, know. yeah. <laughs> the, uh, trying to think of some modern... The, the, the dis the disrupt, the disrupt on the on the fact of fiction of the format. Right. The the, the stone cold backbreaker. Jackie fortunately has none of those, so. Yeah. I'm not a huge rack with Madness fan, oh. be, or whatever it is, because <laughs> it's like the stars have to align uh, in such a specific way for it to work. That said, I can never begrudge someone who just wants to blow someone out so badly that they're willing to sideboard that way. Yeah. Always on always on board for just wanting to do that to someone. So, yeah, I guess, where are you, what are you cutting here from um, James's side of the board? Well, he wants Obliterators, and I actually do, I really like Go for the Throat in the matchup. Yep. Um, one question is Cemetery Reaper in the matchup. I think that's more of a good card against control decks, would be my, it's a, it's a threat that's a recurring threat. I don't Yeah, it certainly know matches up quite it. poorly against Galvanic Blast. So it's still, issue. even with the Lord effect it gives, it still doesn't pump the zombies to a, rele to a relevant enough size. I'd probably yeah. side that out. Uh, other things... Distress worked really well for him this the last game, but that was against a land screw. I'm not sure I really like Distress. Um, yeah, I think I, I like it way more on the play than on the draw, because you're way more you're just likely to go guy get your guy or, but yeah, on the draw it's just like Jackie's deck is 
pretty redundant. Like, you're not going to be able to select one threat and then that's just it. It's not like the ramp decks where it's often like you have one titan in your hand right. and then you're out of business. It's like, well, there's plenty of good four mana creatures and five, minutes, five mana stuff that she has to do. Like, four mana creature or sword equipped for five. So it's very unlikely that your stress keeps her off for like one good piece of action. The deck's just too homogenous. So it's also, it's also mm -hmm. possible, like, you may actually want to consider bailing on Porcelain Legionnaire. Because a Porcelain Legionnaire and Mortipod, it's actually not out of the question for, for her to bring an Ancient Grudge. And um, you want to just minimize her exposure to that too, so. Yeah, and you, you also have the Metamorphs. I suppose there are enough targets in there. Though Metamorph often, the, the clone effects, you may actually board in more Metamorph. I'm, I'm, I'm contemplating that. Uh, when your opponent is playing Strangle Root Geist, I really like the value, the added value of Metamorphs now. Because yeah. there's, there's this problem with the clone deck that you, you know, you really, don't want, you really just want to clone the obliterators. Not the obliterators, the Geralt's messengers. But when if Jackie gives, you know, if she plays a Strangle Geist, I'm, I'm fine Phantasm imaging that. That's yep. great. Any Undying creature is pretty much ideal for a, uh, for a clone effect. Yeah. So that might be another thing to bring. Yep. But again, it's, it's hard, like, you know, Mortipod is pretty awesome just in the deck in general, and specifically against a deck with a lot of one-toughness creatures. Mortipod's so excellent to, against the red-green deck. Yeah, you would have to be... Uh, I mean, it's actually fine for that to get grudged as long as you're casting it up front, but mm -hmm. there is an argument for just bailing on all your artifacts because of the threat of grudge. Grudge is an interesting choice here for Jackie because she's I mean, we, really and the we don't know if she's brought, she, We don't know if she's brought him in or not. Also. Yeah. Well, it depends how much she really wants to board out. I think, I think the Garuk is probably a stronger play. I'm not... I still think so, yeah. I, it, it does trade with most of the things on the But you probably side. want to just cut your three red-white swords for a second green-black sword, right? So we've already we've already freed up two slots if we're working under that assumption. Yeah. Yeah, and we, yeah. So the dismember is It's possible you just want as many swords as possible because this deck, just, the zombie deck's just one sword's on a guy. It doesn't really zombie matter Zombie is very bad against equipment. What's that? It, ha it has a weakness to equipment. Yeah, it was yeah. annihilated by... Yeah. Yeah. Any, so any sword on any creature was more than enough to Even though it's red, <laughs> even though you're not playing red or white, it's still yeah, fine. Good enough. More than good enough. Yeah. All right, so it looks like it's uh, James's turn to go back. And gen the gentlemanly thing to do, you know, making up for last game. Yep. So, yeah, I always like, you know, when I was building... But I've been building decks in standard anytime they've or been thinking about decks in standard. Every time I built them I've been trying uh trying my hardest to if they have like some number like a reasonable number of artifacts, like six to eight is a pretty common in decks just between like swords and metamorphs and whatever else. To have some sort of uh, way against red green decks to just bail on everything for grudges. Right, you don't really want to turn on that that card is so narrow, you don't it, but it's very good when it's on. You really just uh, you wanna leave make sure yeah, you don't wanna give them opportunity to cast it. Yeah, it's actually the big reason that I like Deathmark in the sideboard a lot. Because Deathmark is like very good against those decks and gives you an easy way to slide out your artifacts when appropriate. Right. Because you don't want you don't you want Deathmark against the decks where you want to cut your artifacts, so it's just like a really efficient use of slots. All right, so Jackie on the start, no mana creature. I actually, in this matchup, I don't. Her mana creatures are weaker than normal. Yeah, between so tra good. tragic slip and um, Mortipod, make it harder to get those things online. Yeah, the best thing they do is protect from Geth's verdict. Gravecrawler, yep. excellent start for James. Uh, she has boarded in Grudge and has one in her hand. Okay. James with an image. Um, yeah, she's kept a, a a bigger hand, which I think yeah. is what we were saying is one of the things we wanted to see out of her in the matchup. She has two Hellriders? Two a Grudge, maybe. I think it's two Hellriders. Yeah. Although, if she's, if she's sideboarding this way, like trying to go super big, that's more of an argument to keep uh, Distress in your deck as well. That's fair. Becomes much better in this. We'll see what he gets. He has an image, probably won't cast yeah, it. Yeah, probably here. doesn't want to lead there. Uh, and a Diagraph Ghoul. Yep. I think th this is, yeah. So, yep, Galvanic Blast for that. Doesn't want to use... Doesn't want to uh, use the Blast on the Grave Crawl. Yeah, yeah but, if at all possible. Uh, she also has a Hunt Master now in her hand. So I think I th she, has, she has two more lands and a Hunt Master. Yeah. So I feel like at this point her game plan is like is pretty clear. Um, you yeah, might try only, to... I think the only thing she can do this turn is Metamorph, which obviously is not 
super attractive on a grave crawler. No, I'd probably start with Hellrider just on the blocks to try to bait out a kill spell that James might have. Huntmaster is really the prize. Yeah. And a 3 3 actually requires, like, actual, actually requires an answer out of the blue black deck. It's not like right. a Hill Giant actually is meaningful because you have so many 2 2s in your deck. Right. So. So he gets in a little bit of damage right now. She does have to worry about he has she he has the ability to clone Hell Riders. So right. I remember you said before you thought zombies would be great. We were some uh, a person on Twitter had asked us whether or not you in a zombies deck would run Hell Rider, and your response was if it costs three and a red I would. If it costs but it's double red. Yeah, so I the really man can't. is already rough as it is. So when you're but but in the opportunity where your opponent plays a Hell Rider, well suddenly now all bets are off. Like now you can actually cast it if you're playing a clone version. So it appears he played Diagraph Captain after combat. Interesting. Yes, he did. I think he played it after combat. Um, the, the, does he have instance? Does he have instance? No. It, it appears his hand is Mortipod Image Land from where I'm sitting. Okay. Well, that so one, now, that's probably probably a, a mistake, but that's well. Fine. Now, now, there's, now we're in combo land. The uh, Mortipod Mortipod plus, plus Gravecrawler plus Captain is the uh, the peanut butter and jelly yeah. sandwich. Yeah. So uh, Jackie's gonna want to keep her uh, keep her grudge handy, really. For those of you uh, not super familiar, what you're able to do is now that the um, now that the Gravecrawler has um, Death Touch, Mortipod plus, plus Gravecrawler plus Captain is basically an infinite, like, it's three, two mana. It, turns, it turns into everything into three mana terminates. Like, you just have infinite three mana terminates. And she's going to start, I like this, she's going to start on the Hellrider, which I completely agree with. Yep. So if he does... To, to bait out whatever's going on here. And, and it should bait it out, too. Yeah. So, yeah. Really strong going to be back on D. Unfortunately, uh, she's going to get... I believe she's going to get more potted. Which is fine. Which is actually, I think, pretty good. Because then it gives her a chance to grudge the mortar pod. And once right. again, really stick the hunt yeah. master. Which is just... Yeah. The it, hunt master is, is the... Answer. Hunt master on the stable board is, like... The, it's very challenging for the zombie deck to get out of. The other option, so now James probably has the option of, does he attack? Does he clone Hellrider? Well, I think, yeah, I... Or does he clone Diagraph Captain? <laughs> right, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of play here. Well, cloning Diagraph Captain doesn't seem very good to me because he still can't attack with his Diagraph Captain, right? Like, the, other, the, the live one still is only a 3-3, three, three, so right. then you're just trading off, so that doesn't seem like a good starting well, point. If you if you do that, if you... It does give you enough, give him enough reach, I think, to clone the Diagraph Captain, that it might be, yeah. We'll see. Like, I feel like if you're going to clone, you might as well clone Hellrider. And he's because cloning, Hellrider allows you to make the same attacks. Like I believe he's he's cloning the... It's unclear. I believe... Yeah, we it's don't... It's unclear. Um, she hasn't reached for her that life pad, that, so that, I think that, it's that the Captain. That attack certainly implies that it's a... A Captain or a Hellrider. It has so to be a captain, captain right? Because the Hellrider would, would have definitely would have attacked. attacked. So he does clone the captain, which I actually, I some, I do like a little bit here. Uh, so she'll take one and then four more, so she'll go to uh, ten. I'm not a huge fan. I probably would have just gone Mortipod, shoot, move to Grave Crawler, shoot your Hellrider, attack for two, and just kept your kept the Metamorph back. The porcelain, porcelain. Oh, it's, oh, I'm sorry. Well, he didn't have a Mortipod. He had a Porcelain Engineer. Unless well, that that's definitely changes the equation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, um, that makes his, his play. Last card. Although now, certainly the Grudge kind of rot. Oh, and she just drew a wolf run. So, can she, she wolf can, run? She can kill the. She can image. kill the image. It still costs three. She can kill the image and grudge the legion. Yeah. Run, so that was that draw was that's awesome. Excellent. Yeah. Which, it's almost certainly what I would do in the, on the board. Funny, she has the. Okay. Yeah. No rush to do that, really. Yeah. Might as well see. And I think she's def, that's the line she's playing as well. Yeah. So that that wolf run was an awesome draw. Also, the Wolfron is an argument for perhaps taking out your images because she just has a free roll way to kill your image. Right. Uh, Cemetery Reaper, he probably, so he did keep in the Reaper, probably going to see a response. Well, I guess there's no reason to see a response after yeah, that. Yeah, this is where everything, uh, this is where things get ugly for James. And then there's the grudge, yeah. Now, still though, uh, Jackie going to eight, and with yeah, I mean, hunt, I mean, provide. We don't. Do yeah. we know what James's hold card is? Do we know what, he, what, what his, last, his card last card is? That I matters. Think it's a, it's a swamp. swamp. Okay, yeah, so, so now she'll be able to. Hunt Hunt is gonna do its well, thing. From the beginning, as we said, <laughs> this matchup comes down to Huntmaster, and I think it's his time. Can't let Huntmaster resolve. 
well, stay on the board. But yeah. It looks like it's going to. When your deck is just in the business of casting tutus, it is challenging <laughs> to be the hunt master since the hunt master is <laughs> kills everything. Very good at just casting its own tutus by itself and killing tutus. Yes. She's actually just trying to figure out how to tap her mana here. Yeah. I think. Yep. Leaving the duels up is got right. is, is correct. Oh, and actually, oh, that's <clears throat> not hunt master. Sorry, that's Garuk Relentless. Oh. I forgot there is another. Yeah. All right, so it's written. I like what she read on it in big letters. My, our apologies there, yeah. We forgot that there is another flip card. It's not in her main, so I guess I assume that most of the flip cards are Hunt Masters. That does really... This turn is also quite good for her. It's still, <laughs> still, still, still probably good enough to win, but um, it's essentially just... So Garuk Relentless in, you know, a lot in a lot of matchups ends up being a kill spell game two or something like that, which yeah. is what it'll be right here. So now he's got to decide about whether or not he's going to ship at Garrick or go after Jackie. Jackie's fairly low. Because of um, Garrick's ability to make chump blockers, I still think you need to take well, the, the Just the, um, I normally, I normally agree with you 100%. It's just that a hit here puts her into Mortapod plus Messenger range, which is a big, like, six is a very significant number for the zombie deck to put their opponent at. With she has a grudge in the yard. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, so. Does that that still that still that takes it out of mortar pod messenger range. Right. So I I, I think then he, okay, he, he does drew, have messenger. He, he just drew a no that's a mortar he has mortar pod swamp in hand I believe. It's, I think it's messenger swamp. Well messenger would certainly be a good draw here. Uh, There's still time to get a little change of pace to your day. If you like to sign up for the yeah, so going challenge. Garrett. The is $10. Oh, you're right. It's a messenger. Four rounds of Swiss. We're taking signups now at the side of it. Excellent area. draw. Yep. Um, really the best you could hope for. So now maybe she will have to draw that Hunt Master, which <laughs> I mistakenly thought she had. It's a Copper Line Gorge. This is going to be harder. Yeah, this is much worse for this is much worse for her now. Well, especially because Metamorph is almost uncastable on right. this board. So she yeah, really you almost can play, just... You can play, she can play Hellrider and leave it back on D, but then it's like, well, you don't really have a particularly good block from there. Because right. you're either resetting the, resetting the Messenger or just treading water with the Gravecrawler because you can just recast it. Yeah, her land comes into play tapped, so she can't cast both. Yeah, a very difficult board. She's going to need some help on, the draw, on a draw, really. Uh, so when she's looking for draws, then I mean, obviously Huntmaster or Zenith would be excellent. Yeah, she's basically assuming that she just blocks the uh, messenger. She's going to two here. So so that means those card. two guys. It basically means Huntmaster. We need something like running Huntmasters to pull from here. Yeah. Um. Just one Huntmaster should be fine. Well, you still don't have a block, right? Because the messenger is going up to a four three. So you have a wolf run, and you have enough mana oh, yeah, oh. over the top, I think, to play one, two, three, four. No, so no she should be mana. one short. She'd yeah, be one short of that. Short. So, yeah, running Hunt Masters. And for him to brick on a bunch of draws in a row here. Right. It's a Porcelain Legionnaire, which counts as a brick. Um, it's still pretty good, isn't there's, it? There's Grudge still in the bin. So. Oh, there's Grudge in the bin. Okay, so, yeah, it's still not, that's not a card, really. She opts to block the grave crawler instead. I don't. Well, she gets to recast. So. She's hoping to draw. It's an... Not Lanwar Elves, probably. Yeah, Lanwar Elf plus Metamorph is not getting us anywhere here. I mean, it's another. I it's basically another chump block. Well, she can now. She can double trade. She can Pingham. trade off Joey now. Charbonneau. I suppose that's right. fine. Uh, technically, she's she's live on this board. She's at one, a virtual one due to messenger. She can play land or elves. Trade that off. Hellrider can continue to eat the Grolf's messenger, but I mean, Diagraph Ghoul will yeah. keep coming. Or Gravecrawl will keep coming back. The danger of going to one is he still plays Geth Verdict and Mortar Pod, right? Um, and and Messenger, so he's on about an eleven outs in his deck yeah. to just kill her. Although again, Huntmaster is now Huntmaster. We're back, yeah, we're back to being we're we're punching <laughs> at that point at least. Yeah.
and Jackie is tanking for a long time here because the Metamorph can basically knock her down to one. The other thing that's kind of I interesting think, from this position is like, yeah. Jackie actually doesn't need a lot to kill Jane's from nowhere, assuming that she can keep her board intact. Between like two Hellriders, theoretically, and um, like if she clones the Hellrider here, then you just have Land of War Elf block the chump block the messenger. The Grave Crawler can't do anything, and now presumably you have some gigantic draws. It's, it looks like it's copying the the messenger here. So, so now we're in a position where we're just chumping the. Um, we just have to chump the messenger until we draw a hunt master. Yes. The other play would be to leave back Land Royale's Wolf, run it on the block, and trade it with the messenger. I actually, well, you can't. Well, yeah, yeah. That's the other option, right? Yeah. It's like you have two life points you're playing with. Jeremy, uh, and that should be yeah, game. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's game on both lines, actually. Right. Right, so. All right. To actually do it. Yeah, and there's the concession. All right, so James Ladmer defeats Jackie Lee, two to zero. Uh, yeah. Blue black zombies. First time we've seen zombies here. I haven't actually been seeing too much of zombies. Uh, well positioned against control, not as much against aggro, but pulling it out. Yeah, that was surprising. I mean, those were obviously one of those games is a mulligan to five or whatever. So we can only count that for so much. But that game he mulliganed, and uh, Jackie's hand wasn't particularly good, but it was certainly not.